What is up you guys? It's Katya Bolts. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a supplement review. Sorry if I sound somewhat a little stuffy or nasally. I actually currently have tonsillitis, so that's kind of fun. But it's been healing up, so I'm, I'm good. I'm on antibiotics and stuff. But anyways, okay, I am pretty freaking excited for this review because I've been wanting to try this protein for quite some time, but I just haven't. I don't know why. I don't really have an excuse. I just haven't bought it. That's literally my excuse. Um, so yes, First Form finally came out with a vegan protein powder, so I was so stoked because I love their BCAAs and their pre-workout and stuff, and so I was able to get my hands on two of the three flavors. Um, yeah, so I have chocolate and chocolate peanut butter cup. Sounds so good. They also have vanilla, but that was out of stock. So I guess I'm gonna have to do a part two video once they get vanilla back in stock so I can try that for you guys. But yeah, they've had other, like their first form Formula One regular protein powders, but then they came out with the vegan protein powders, which they wanted to keep, um, you know, 100% gluten free, no artificial sweeteners and stuff. So they don't have as, they're not gonna probably come out with as crazy of flavors as they do with their Formula One because they want to try to keep it all as natural as possible because it's like non-GMO, sweetened with stevia, stuff like that. So, otherwise we will get to the macros. I'm going to try one of these now and then I'm going to go to the gym, work out, have another one post-workout. Um, the one thing is I did notice between the chocolate and the chocolate peanut butter cup is that the macros actually do differ a bit so I wonder actually if the vanilla if it differs as well but, but yeah for example like chocolate it's got 98 calories 2 grams of fat 2 grams of carbs and 19 grams of protein whereas chocolate peanut butter cup does have 90 calories 2 fat 3 carbs and 17 protein so a little less protein but pretty much the uh, hold on the uh it's got like a superfood complex blend and a phytonutrient complex which is pretty cool because they also sell a greens powder but this is like an all-around really solid protein because it comes with your superfoods and your phytonutrients so you're getting all your essential aminos and phytonutrients superfood all that kind of stuff so it's like not just a plain simple brown rice protein but I mean it does have of course it's a pea protein peanut flour oh I guess this one is peanut flour because of the peanut butter cup but and brown rice blend but I like that it's not just that kind of like the PE science because that one is like too expensive for what it comes for where this is hopefully much well worth the price we will see of course with the taste so I am going to start with the chocolate peanut butter cup and then after my workout we are going to come back and try the chocolate. So I'm going to quickly mix up a scoop of this. Ugh, yeah, I had to get rid of my last shaker cup so we're going to use I think a mason jar just so you guys can see the color. So yes, I'm going to mix this up real quick. Alright, so this was my way of blending which actually is a good test to see if something blends well because by stirring it and if it gets all clumpy then you know it's not very good. And it blended seamlessly like just by stirring it and it smells so good so so good holy crap I'm so excited like I don't really have expectations I kind of just want to drink it so excuse me for doing that um hold it oh yeah it still has a few little clumps but yeah it's not shaken it's stirred Mmm. Okay. I can taste kind of that brown rice, but the chocolate peanut butter is there, which is what I want. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Light flavor. I mean, this is probably like also help, you know, due to the fact that it's like all natural and stuff like that. Um, like comparatively to the Orgain, like Orgain has such a strong flavor. That one also is higher in carbs, so I think like those carbs come from all the additive flavor or whatever they add, you know, to it. I mean, it is organic, so whatever cocoa powder that adds extra carbs. So this is a low carb, and I freaking love the macros on it. It's perfect. 
especially for like if I was to go into a cut and like need to add that extra protein, this would be perfect for that. And it tastes great. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's really good. Mm hmm mm hmm I will definitely be adding this to like my morning, morning zucchini porridge, everything like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, like you can see that it has texture to it, like any plant protein, but I don't get the grit. It's actually very smooth. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, I I really like it. Um, it, it it could have a little more peanut butter flavor to it. That's just my personal preference because you guys know I love my peanut butter. So other than that, it tastes awesome. It I keep choking on certain stuff. But other than that, I can't wait to try to try the chocolate flavor um, after my workout. So I will see you guys once I get back from the gym. See ya. All right, this lighting is awful. I need to invest in like a white light, but um, we are back from the gym and so ready to try out the chocolate flavor. So I'm gonna quickly mix this up in my mason jar and we'll give it a taste test. All right, praying that there's enough battery left in the camera, but here is the chocolate as best as I could mix it up with just a straw in a mason jar. Um, I forgot to buy a shaker cup today, tomorrow. I'll do that, but here we go. Ooh, mm-hmm. Again, it tastes very natural and clean. So it's one of those things that I'm not like, oh my gosh, best tasting chocolate protein powder ever. But for having the ingredients that it does, being super, super clean, it is really good. It is a really good chocolate. So, yes, like, mm, mm hmm. Oh man. Oh, I can't wait to put this in my oatmeal. Also, I am still a little nasally, so I know that's probably affecting my taste buds, to be honest. But from what I can taste, it tastes. Delicious. Uh, I uh, the chocolate and the chocolate peanut butter. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this up real quick. All right. So to wrap up this review of the first form vegan protein powder of their chocolate and chocolate peanut butter. Hopefully, we'll do the vanilla very soon. They are amazing. Like I didn't even know when I bought them that they also had the superfood complex and the phytonutrient complex so for like the price I forgot how much it is like 40 or 50 dollars totally worth it delicious clean sweetened with stevia great macros like super low in carbs if you have like lower carbs or something like that and if you're vegan or even if you're not vegan and you just don't do whey protein because dairy don't digest well highly highly recommend them so I will put a link so that you can get free shipping on them when you go shop on their website. So go check them out, whether it's that the vegan protein or their whey protein or any other supplements they have. They have awesome, awesome supplements. Give it a double thumbs up. I'm loving them. Definitely will buy them in the future. I can't wait to try the vanilla. I want to get my hands on it. So that video will come out soon. So if you want to see that video, click that subscribe button. Give it a big thumbs up. Join the FitFam! Yes! Um, I'm gonna go do stuff now. You go do stuff now. Or you can go check out my other videos if you want. <laughs> hey -o. Um, But yeah, I love you guys. You are awesome. Your support is so wonderful. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.